I have a I don't know, seven or eight year old Dremel 3D20 3D printer. Uh, it's kind of an original thing, but I haven't used it for five years. I want to get it back going again. As you can see, it's running. One of the th things with it is that it doesn't take G code in its original format. It takes a, a G3 DREM file. So nothing was creating a G3 DREM file and USB wouldn't talk to it. I had uh, deleted the original uh, Dremel 3D slicer software. Um, so I went two avenues to get this thing going again. One was I had to get the original 3D software back and Dremel uh, Helpline was awesome with that. So, you know, sent me a Dropbox link to be able to get that back. And what that allowed me to do was to do a firmware update. And the firmware update makes the machine able to take G code instead of just the uh, G3 DREM. Um, so that was first thing that I did. Um, Dremel has a more recent slicer that's based on Cura, I believe. Uh, but the flaw in it was that it was only creating G code. Um, so now I can, you know, use this slicer to create some G code to do some 3D printing. Uh, but it still doesn't talk via USB. I mean, this is an old, old model. I don't, I don't blame them for not. Um, I think it's a Windows Apple kind of issue, not so much Dremel issue. But it does have a SD card slot so I can uh, download files and move them via SD card and I can use that but what I had also found so I kind of that was one avenue I went uh, get the original software update the firmware and then I can use the more recent version but I found um, that the Cura 5, and this is just a random find, Cura 5, someone had created a Dremel 3D20 plugin, which creates the G3 Drum file. So I have been going with that more. And I don't know why, I could probably just use the, the Dremel software, because it's, I mean, look, it's based the same kind of thing on Cura. Um, I'm still using an SD card um, because my, computer does not have an SD card slot I'm using an SD card reader uh, but strangely enough my SD this SD card reader is only a micro so I'm using a micro to SD adapter um, and my old uh, big SD card reader didn't want to work but now I've bought another one so um, you'll see but I'm, you know, I'm playing with uh, print settings so I'm, you know you know changing um, layer height I haven't messed with walls and top bottom to see what that really does uh, I have been playing with infill a little bit they got so many different kinds of infills it's that uh, I don't know um, but really the only thing I found so far changes really the time of the print is is the layer height um, which makes sense because it's doing more layers so it's doing more travel time and obviously infill don't if you really if you really change it drastically if you just change it a little bit like 20 to 15 percent it doesn't do much for the time um temperature is always a, to me is always kind of a random guess they promote you know hey you can print between 190 and 230 degrees for the pla it's like well which temperature is the right temperature people because I know every filament's different, so we got to try and dial that in. Um, skirt versus brim. I'm doing skirt um, on these uh, just to not not do a brim. I was doing brim to start with, and I printed a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, right now, I'm printing some files for uh, my garden. So I did time. I've done some penguins. I did a cat. I did find that uh, if I do the these uh, articulated models not to do brim and that's what I did with this fishy here I did a brim um, but unfortunately it also 
like covers the, the back a little bit so then it really can't articulate and I broke the fishy trying to make it articulate. Um, you know, my koala. I did a couple of uh, two different versions of the copper tape holder. Um, I did one with not enough infill and it broke. Um, so that's all, that's the other thing playing with uh, what's what percent infill do you really need to make this a style a sturdy object? Tiny unicorn. So there's some thoughts back on 3D printing. Talk to you later.